Today's scripture reading begins in verse 1 of Psalm 91. One who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will lodge in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For it is He who rescues you from the net of the trapper and from the deadly plague. He will cover you with His pinions, and under His wings you may take refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and wall. You will not be afraid of the terror by night, or of the arrow that flies by day, of the plague that stalks in darkness, or of the destruction that devastates at noon. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not approach you. You will only look on with your eyes and see the retaliation against the wicked. For you have made the Lord my refuge, the Most High your dwelling place. No evil will happen to you, nor will any plague come near your tent. When life is running smoothly and all is well with us and our loved ones, those of us who are believers have no trouble being content and trusting God. But when situations become difficult, our peace is rapidly replaced by stress and anxiety. So what do we do? We must remember that no matter how we feel, God, the one who rules the universe, remains sovereign over all things, down to the smallest detail. He loves us unconditionally and always works for our ultimate best interest. Therefore, if He has allowed a situation, we can trust there's a divine plan and reason for whatever comes our way. It isn't always easy, especially when we're facing loss or danger. But Scripture assures us that God is more than adequate to sustain us. So when difficulty hits, don't lose sight of who God is or who you are in Him. In those moments, make Isaiah's words your own. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid for the Lord God is my strength and song. Spend some time on this Holy Thursday contemplating God's loving omnipotence and bearing this in mind. The one who keeps the entire universe functioning perfectly holds you securely in the palm of his hand.